All right, here's my attempt at a behind the scenes video, also for me, just so I remember what I did uh, this year. Um, this is about 13,000 pixels. Um, there's 60, 10 watt, kind of dumb and smart um, floods. And that's really about it. So this is our third year 100% X-Lights. Um, and then before that we did Lightarama um, for five or six years. So you'll see some of the things I do are still kind of Lightarama like no power injection and very simple, um, lots of controllers. So I'm going to kind of point out some of the unique elements. Um, so we built these um, this year. Um, this is the Biscoya trim, and they go all the way around. Um, we kind of like this idea last year. We had two just strips, and it kind of sagged and kind of got not, not so vertical and clean. So this year we added these. Um, it's about, shoot, I don't even know. Um, it's four high, obviously, but it's about four or five hundred all the way down and there's some on this side of the house as well um basically pretty simple we just plugged them in and then um use these great big there's these big yard stakes um they're probably 16 inches or so um they go through and plug them um, all these in um another nice thing i kind of figured out i was trying to figure out a nice clean way to put these together so you see like these auto body clips like you, know, you can hold your trunk plastic parts together you just drill them through um clips in real nice um, but it worked really well to kind of keep everything nice and secure and tight. Um, modeling is kind of fun because you could just do like one strip and then you could have some vertical elements going up and down. Um, but it's better than just having the simple two. Um, moving over here, um, the architecture feature on the house are coins. Um, these are, I think, 96 by 10 at 2 inch. Um, and basically there's PVC frames and there's some big permanent hooks up there that kind of hold this to the house. And there's four sets of um, these on the house. I can get some nice little miniature matrix effects, um, but they work pretty well. Uh, moving over here, um, mega tree, um, 32 by 100 at two inch, um, ASAP senior pole, um, pretty clean design. Um, I bent all the steel, um, used kind of a, a bender for making greenhouses, um, and these are bungee balls. Um, that you can get my Amazon and then grommet it in so to actually put some tension on there and then great big yard stakes here These are probably I think they're actually for mobile homes. They're like three foot down in there and we're in Florida So it's kind of sandy soil. So I really made a good job making sure everything is nice and tight there um, ASAP senior everyone's seen one of these um, Overkill uh, 32 head uh, topper up there. I've had that for a second year in a row a really strong secure topper never had an issue there um, and then down here, um, this actually, there's a, we put a sleeve of PVC. It's probably two and a half feet down um, with three or four bags of concrete. So we have that there year round. It's always a hunt to find it every year, but it um, works really well. So this pole is not going anywhere. Um, only one guy wire, probably not a good thing, but we've never had any problems and probably will actually do something better there next year with more guy wires. Um, but really, it's it's really Real, pretty strong. It's had good 34 mile an hour winds. Um, controller, I guess that I don't do power inject, so everything's kind of it is what it is. So, this one I've had a real, a, for a little while. Um, it's a Falcon 16 with expansion, um, HP power supply, and another extra mean wall on there. Um, everything is just one port, 100 bulbs or pixels, and that that's it. Super clean. There's an expansion there for the star. Um, but never had any issue, no real overheating or anything like that. There's a fan in there, I, yeah, it has a fan in it. Um, but real simple, probably, probably could run the whole show off of this, but I just like keeping it simple. All right, moving over this way. Um, we had spirals this year, have the exact same set on the other side of the house. Um, they're about 130 or so on the big ones, 70 or so. Um, these are just off of Home Depot on clearance, and then obviously cut everything off and, and hand zip tied every single one on there. Um, I think I had to go over with, uh, I think it was Ray to get these white ones though, so they call it, uh, look good. Um, and then uh, these are uh, from Biscoya, they're like, like 50 cents, but they're like 20 bulbs each of those. And you can do some nice little patterns and stuff like that with the next lights, um, but all zip tied on the top. Um, rebar to hold them over. Um, obviously, never had any issues when they're stuck in that way. Uh, moving this way from the mess um, these are kind of unique too um, so these big guys I don't have a name for them spikes I guess these are five by 100 um, and they're on all these palm trees and there's three more on the other side of the house but they're just um, 
I'll budge it on here. We use these little Biscoya brackets. Really not the greatest thing. They really slide on you. Um, so we had to use like one every couple feet. And then to put enough tension on it again, we're using the same um, theory there with the with the bungee balls to pull everything nice and tight. Um, not totally happy with the plastic things, but this is the second you're having them. And once you get them all together, I, I do not take them apart. I, they sit in the top of the attic. Um, but yeah, they're probably yeah, 17 feet tall and it's on metal EMT. Um, and there's some fun, you know, effects you can do with those, you know, just big, nice verticals and, um, you know, bouncing with the music, those type of things. So pretty happy with those. Moving over this way. Um, we have an F48 on both sides of the house. Um, so this is standard build, um, F48, um, I think this one's using everything, uh, two mean wells down there, um, a pie up here, um, but really this one's kind of running this side of the house except for the mega tree, um, yeah, I think everyone's seen one of these before, um, this, uh, JD, JD Asians or JD Creations or whatever, saw the plastic parts in there, so pretty happy with the build, but has, it's run really, really well. Um, right now, that's all using the old uh, little receivers. I'm going to probably move that over to some smarts to make it a little more efficient, get some more runs next year. So as far as floods, um, there's seven back there. These are old, um, these are old white Aramba ones, so they're dumb, dumb ones. Um, but we're running these all off of um, off of pies. And I'll show you that here in a second. So this is a, what we call the pie box. Um, it's way buried back here, sorry. So there's one on both sides of these, on the house and these. And so these are light Arama boards. These are, um, they're dumb controllers. They're CMD 24Ds, I think. Uh, there's two of those in there. And then there's a, on the bottom deck, there's a, a FPP and a Raspberry Pi. I'm running these. So it's all DMX, basically. Uh, so each one of these boards can put out uh, 24 DMX ports. Um, so I have this one on this side of the house, and there's one on the other side of the house doing more floods over there. And the rest of them are smart floods. So I might move, oh, they're working fine, but I may move them to one of those, those new uh, piece boards with the uh, pixel of things. It seems like a cleaner concept, but if it works, you know, don't, don't necessarily uh, take it apart and build, build something new. Um, Reese, all like Home Depot ones, you know, just wrapped our own lights on them. I think there's seven. Um, that's a big six footer one up there. Same thing. It's about 170 lights on that one or pixels um, All the trims outlined um, We're happy with the solution as well. So what we did here is There's one hook up there at the very top and then there's one uh, You know eyelid bolt there and one eyelid bolt there. So this is just on a piece of EMT um, So all you have to do is just make and there's a little piece of uh, steel cable um, Connect the two ends of EMT at the very top so all you do is you hook it at the top, you put the one into the left uh, zip tie, put the end of the right zip tie, and you're done. So it's like three zip ties, and all you got to do is be able to reach that center poker, and you're good to go. I leave them all uh, that way. I take them down and, and put them in the attic. Um, don't, don't strip any bulbs or anything like that. Um, gutter ones, I'm going to redo these. Um, we use binder clips. I think some people have done that before. Um, they're white binder clips to hold them on the edge of the uh, the trim up there or the gutter. Um, I have I finally found some nice 3D uh, printed ones. So I'm going to use those next year, uh, but they didn't get here in time. So we resorted to uh, 30 binder clips, but they actually worked. It nothing ever fell. Um, I'm not sure how rusted they are, but it worked for what we uh, needed to do. Moving on, um, so more more Reese. Um, there's a Falcon uh, old F4 back here that kind of runs this corner of the house. And again, we have lots of controllers. I just don't like having you know cords and cables everywhere. Um, so pea sticks, you'll see these kind of scattered out. I didn't really have a plan. I just thought they were really cool watching um, watching uh, uh, the Peace House. Um, but we we went through them here. Um, there's probably. I don't even know about the third and eighth side of the house. I'm going to do more and actually probably put them in the yard next year. Um, but what we used, we just kind of like sprinkled them in and did kind of some like little twinkle effects. Um, they worked really well though. I mean, they would add a nice little sparkle. Um, you could not see them at all at night um, you know, when they were off, but then you know near the end of a song or something like that, you know, bring them in a little bit to get a little extra effect and you get some nice up and down verticals. 
All right, um, moving this way. Um, so again, um, there's another um, one of those boxes that does all the full lights over here. Um, these are a new addition this year. These two big mushroom cap looking things, these are subwoofers. Um, so there's two um, subwoofers um, and there's some additional um, small speakers um, in this flower bed. And then I don't know if you notice over there, there's another subwoofer and, um, and two more little speakers over there. Um, these are a nice addition. Um, we don't play them very often, but there's a couple key nights where the you know, neighbors are cool and we're having a street party or um, and we really crank this up um, and get, get a lot of sound going. Moving this way, these are smart uh, floods up there. Um, they just act, it's like, you know, th three channels basically. Um, and you, you run them just, right, you just daisy chain them right into one of the, the Falcons. Those, are, those work really well. Um, some more smart ones here. Again, same kind of concept. It's kind of gotten twisted in the wind a little bit, but same concept with the roof line. Another uh, another six foot wreath up there, and then again we we see the more of these uh, big uh, uh, palm spike kind of things. These are the five by uh, five by one hundreds. Moving on. Again, some more of these guys, um, and then back up in here, you can see it. You know, Diff three, obviously, that's a differential receiver. Um, and then this is another, um, there's another Falcon uh, F48 that does this side of house um, underneath that camo little uh, strip there. Um, again, these are all diff boards. They're just all running and all these type of things. There's probably 15 little boxes of differential receivers. You can see another one hitting out on there in the camouflage. Uh, but those work really well. Again, I kind of think I want to move to the smart ones. I can, uh, less cable runs, keep it simple. Um, Next year, I want to do something here. I'm not sure what yet. Um, we we used to do like standard uh, LEDs down every branch. is a real pain. A really pain to model. But next year, I got to think of something to do there. It's kind of an eyesore sometimes. And then almost done here. Two and two sign. I'm going to see one of these. This was uh, uh, tens last year. It's a but it's P uh, fives this year. It worked fine. It's it's. Just comes on, comes off. I thought it was kind of funny. I left the backside clear. It's always kind of fun. Like people are like, oh, how do you do this? And you can get like a little simple tour or something. Um, so it's a, I, actually there is a, uh, it's a Crockett board on there, but I'm actually using it on top of the, that was for the P10s, but I moved it over to our color light. Um, I couldn't get that um, to work with the, the P5s. And then this is a kind of a weird thing I thought of. Um, so that little that white box it's like a renewable mini dehumidifier so i get some steam in here sometimes and that worked really well this year you stick it in there um it just kind of it works for like i think a month um but then you go plug in the wall heats back up and dries back out so it was a good way to get the condensation out of the box um, but pretty simple um there's like a one of those little amazon little plugs um it turns the whole box on it just and it runs um all by itself it's not actually through uh, the song, something like that. It's a self-contained unit. And then one last stop. Um, we'll go see the inside here real quick. Um, you can see more floods up there. Uh, those are really what well. that was a new addition this year. And then part of the mess in here. It's I'm sure everyone's looks like this this time of year. And projects you never finish. Look at those P5s sitting there. Sad. Um, and this is kind of the, the mothership of everything. I'm going to rework this area next year. So um, that one particular pie there, that's the main one. And then there's seven pies out in the yard. Uh, so that one's talking to those guys. And just all the amps then for the, uh, the speakers when I use them. I do have a FM tuner I normally use most nights. So that's been, that worked fine. Um, but then I can turn up the, the sound outside when, when warranted. Um, and there's another big old gigabit switch up in the attic that kind of goes out to the uh, left side of the house. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, all the all the uh, there's another Google Mesh uh, box upstairs as well. Um, that for uh, I was gonna do more Wi-Fi, but actually I ended up hardware and everything, so that's why that's sitting down here. And Sonos box so you can do other music um, when you're not playing lights. So that's it. Um, hope everyone learned a thing. Uh, ask questions if you need. Um, we'll see y'all next year. Thanks. Bye.